So basically, wait, yes. So basically, Wander stopped playing one game to play a different one with the same aspect of dying and starting over, but you keep your stuff, and it's a fun space game. Well, you don't keep any of your stuff. It's just you keep all the knowledge. Um, So I might as well, we might as well talk about this. So the game I played right before this was uh, a game Reventure, where you're just trying to collect as many endings as possible. And there's a hundred of them, and... Uh, some of them might be kind of esoteric and hard to get to. This game, very similar. You keep dying over and over and over again, and every single time, instead of getting a different ending every single time, you get a little bit of knowledge that push it, pushes you pushes you yourself, pushes you forward just that little bit more towards like a proper ending. Uh, where the hell is? There it is. Dark Bramble. Uh, so, I haven't reached the ending yet on this one, and every death presumably contributes to it. I don't think I've ever actually had a, what felt like a wasted life in this game. Like, most of the time when I'm playing it, every life and death, you know, very much feels like... Every life and death very much feels like I, I accomplished something, I learned something. I, I I might not get to carry any equipment with me, but I get to know exactly what I need to do for the next time so that I can make more of a prog like more progress then. And I like that. Cause Like it's weird. Fell off the pro platform month. Uh eh, fell off the platform month. Why am I lisping? It's weird. I fell off the platform once. There we go. I did, and it was hilarious, and I really enjoyed it. So we don't want Feldspar. We want a Distress Beacon on one of these. Okay, so that one. Okay, this is going to be real creepy. But yeah, I don't know. I I just really enjoy this this game's progression, non-progression, which is very odd. Like it, it's it's interesting how useful they made lore in Outer Wilds. And I really appreciate that because it it feels like I'm not constantly I'm not constantly wasting my time. This springs on my... Okay, I think that's it. There we go. The springs on my controllers are getting kind of old. I was, I, I'm trying to switch over to my Xbox One controllers so I can keep them alive longer, but for whatever reason, this game doesn't take my Xbox One controllers, which makes me sad. Now I gotta go play my squeaky Xbox 360 controller for the rest of this. We'll see. Okay. So we've got another red light this time around. It's over there. What the hell is the red? Because I've never been able to find out what the, the giant red is. Oh. This is interesting. This broke. 
Okay, so we don't actually have much to go before we actually get to the... It might not be the vessel. I wonder if the red is the vessel, now that I think about it. Either the red's the vessel, or it's the largest goddamn fish in here. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Hang on a minute. If the Dark Bramble is a quantum entity place, does that mean some of the Nomai might have survived the ghost, uh, the, the ghost matter? That's what I was thinking. But there's a very real possibility the, uh... There's a very real possibility that, yeah, we might have living Nomai in here. I doubt it, though, because that would be, like... This is, like, 200,000 years later. And I would be sincerely surprised if they're... If they were able to survive that long. But yeah, there's red in there. And only in there. Huh. This is really, really dense for some reason. Let's see, there's the one on the quantum moon. She survived. She, not really. She's dead in five out of six instances of her life? Like, I'm not entirely sure what that would qualify as, but... Quantum Dead is still pretty close to just Dead Dead. Doesn't look like they escaped... ...this one. Well, they got the distress beacon out. But they didn't put it very far. Interesting. Okay, so we finally found escape pod three. Okay. Our escape pod crashed. As we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication ca capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel, to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Seca, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon's already growing fainter. It'll be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Hmm. Okay. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure of vessel. Launching escape pod 3. Multiple collisions of altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error. Life support error. Propulsion error. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile. At verdict. Do not exit pod. Okay. There's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it'll be gone, and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon, whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the further of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal.
Okay, so I've got that. I should probably take my ship. Might be a bit of a tight squeeze, but I don't know if I have enough oxygen for the other one. Which is amusing, because that's their exact reasoning. Kind of surprising the, uh... Because it does look like they've got a little bit of drift to them. At least some of them. I don't know if we've got any fish in here. But I'm going to go real slow. I mean... There's one possibility... That the, uh... The fish can't get me very well while I'm in this bramble. But I doubt it. Well, found him. Okay. To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of two beacons from the vessel to this place, but can now go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within the thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for even a single nomai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to be able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel, and still so far, is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we will be unable to hear it. There's nothing we can do now but try to find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. Right through the red. Okay. That's going to be really annoying. I gotta go kind of fast. Because frustratingly, I think we've only got a couple minutes left. Eh, I'd say we've got about eight to nine minutes left. I'm going pretty fast. Ah, oh, shit, there's a lot of fish in there.
I... Oh, this is scary shit. Yeah, they're... They're alive. They're just hanging out. Super quietly. Oh, God damn it! We're not even done yet. Okay. Wonder are you okay? Okay. I'll be fine. Okay. Now, it looks like this one's totally dead. Okay, good. So we've got an escape pod here. Convenient. How do we get in? Out through this hole. I guess I could go check that escape bot. We got a hustle, which sucks a bit. Maybe we do go through through that hole. No, that's not an escape pod. That's that's the engines. Anybody see an entrance on this place? Okay, nothing else in that area. Where are you? Where are your probe landed? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's stop. We gotta hustle. Okay. Lots of dead. Oh yeah, you're right. I have no idea what is in here. Yeah, it didn't look like there was an entrance, I will admit. Oh. Hi. For you. Oh.
How the hell do I get back here conventionally? Because it's a dead warp core. Is there any lore in here that I can read? Yeah, so I'm going to have to replace it. Is there an easier way to get back here? In the future. Back in that room, up the ramps. So wait, do I have to find that escape pod? Oh yeah, there are ramps. Do I have to find that escape pod? And... And, uh, then trace it in? Or do I just go through the red? Let's see, did you not find the pod in this area? Okay, so yeah, you do every time. Location should be in your ship log, I believe. Well, the look. Oh, God. That sounds like a time crunch. So, effectively, I have to go find Escape Pod 3 or 3? I have to go get the warp cord, get to Escape Pod 3, get through all of this, plug in the warp cord, plug in the coordinates, and then bail. That's. Why is there a speedrun section? This is Eskal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside from inside itself. We, we are abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you. We need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Do any know my clans whose vessel can hear this message? It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. But my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we've found that black rock suns are fairly stable and life in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know that you will be on your own. Kana, we're making our way towards you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch your watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on his way in way to our vessel. But they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskal's ves vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that a s told that story. Stop moving, you yuts. Um, were told that story when they were young. You're sure it's true, Hysop? Yeah, so we're on Eskel's vessel. So they we somehow got this info. It was a long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskel's clan for a long time. In the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's only it's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Isop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskel's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. 
Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded. It was only a lucky coincidence. We weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars. Which is most of them now. Okay, is there anything else up here that I've missed, or are we good? Okay, I'm good. Good timing, too, because we just ran out of time. Oh, shit. So... At this point, I have to... I'm done. I mean... We can we can beat this in the next, I'm going to say, hour? Unless I get nibbled or run out of time. Unless I'm mistaken, what I have to do is I have to go get the warp core from the, the project. I have to go get the warp core from the project. I have to go... So, ugh, that takes some time, too. So grab the warp core, then... Then I have to rush to the escape pod, find out where this one is, or guesstimate it? I mean, maybe I can fly a bit faster. But yeah, take the warp core here, put in the coordinates for the eye of the universe... Yeah, we'll check the we'll check the ship log. Maybe there's maybe there's a faster way of doing this. Or something. But yeah, in the next 22 minute loop. I honestly I think I might do my research and then go back and then go from there. Perfect. I'm not looking forward to this, because this feels madcap, and I don't like it. Let's see, don't worry too much about a ti time. You never felt like you were running out while doing this part with flying slow as heck through the bramble. I... maybe? I fly slow as heck. Okay, so we found Escape Pod 3, we found the Nomai Grove, we found the Vessel, there's more there. But that's actually it. Yeah, so... I... correct me if I'm wrong. I've been to the sixth location, I've... I've talked to the Nomai. This is literally the last thing for me to do. Okay, let's head for Ash Twin. Because I, th I think, I think that's it. I think we're good. Man, today is going to be a rapid fire of video games, but that's okay. Now, it doesn't screw up if I if I fail, right? Cuz I'd be pretty sad if I like 
if I failed and it screwed me up. Okay, but yeah, let me look over this, because we've done everything with that. We've done everything here. Unless there's some huge section of, of notes that I haven't found. Uh, there's a little bit left on the Sunless City that I haven't found, but wherever it is, it's a pain to get back in there. So, whatever's left is just the vessel, and that's it. Okay, you can't break your save. You turned off the project and immediately got eaten by a fish. Okay, I was kind of worried about that, because that is a potential thing that could maybe happen. But yeah, I... I know I'm missing something from the Sunless City, but whatever it is, it's, I believe it's just, like, flavor text and nothing useful. Ugh. Unfortunately, we, had, we now have to just sit around and wait for the, the sand to start uh, dissipating on this, mo this moon, this planet, I guess? I feel like I should have talked to somebody in this. I think the one failing I would have in this game is that the NPCs mean very little, comparatively. And it would have been kind of nice if you could almost just, like, grab somebody, fill them in, and tell them. If I've broken space-time, that's the best. No, I haven't. I actually have not gotten a single one of the endings. Uh, I haven't disabled the pro project until now. I reactivated it after disabling it, afraid of what might happen. Let's see. Go to the high-energy lab. Okay. We'll do that. Ah, uh, do we... Might be a little late for that. I I can still play the game after I win, right? Or no? Okay. Because at this point I would say I'd like to try and get this. It lets you head back in. Good. Because yeah, we can, we can try and go break the uh, fabric of reality. But first, I think we should actually properly beat this. Because that's, that's my number one goal. I'm just going to follow this. Until it reveals one of them. Good flight practice. Not really. The game isn't really gated in any way, so if you finish the game in a way you don't like it, you just start a new one and beat it right away. No, that is very true. Like, if you know what you're doing in this game, there's, there's no... Uh... Uh... I guess I'm going to land here for a second. I just realized there is one thing we might want to write down. Where was the address? Where's the address for the Eye of the Universe? There it is. Okay. Luckily I've got these. Oh, when you go to the code lock, it pops up on your screen. Oh, good. Well then. 
Never mind. I was worried I'd have to, like, write these down, because I didn't see it earlier, but I guess we didn't have the thing in. Okay. That's where I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Oh! Time really doesn't pass while you're in there. Good to know, I guess. Okay. So I'm just gonna... Plonk myself down right over here-ish. There it is. Back up a bit more. This should be good. And we've got plenty of... We've got plenty of time and fuel and whatnot. Main question is, can I get in here... Where's the bridge? We might have to we might have to go back for one more loop. We'll see it. We'll see how this goes. Cause I might I might be pushing it a little bit. I guess worse comes to worse, if it's very if the floor isn't visible. Then we'll know. But we'll see. Let's see, so how many times did I loop? Uh God. Probably 40, 50. No, probably less, actually. It feels like a lot, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think this is only like a 30 episode series, maybe? So I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure. It's not actually that many. I, I hope after the credits, it actually tells you how many tries it took. Okay, good. But yeah, you could effectively you could effectively take the total time of my my series, divide it by 22, and that would give you a fairly rough estimate. There we go. We made it. Okay. I did the wrong thing. This has got to be up. Okay, so we got to snag that. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Got what I came for. Ever the ship. It's still there. Question. Gotta check the log real quick. Okay. So I think we have to head for the crashed ship. You're here. Dark Bramble is this way. Oh, 
Okay. I love how the music changes when the project is disabled. I do too. I, I'm really stressed out. And I realize that I shouldn't be, that, you know, it's very much like a kind of whatever situation. I'll, I'll be fine, it just might take a try or two. But, like, it is stressing me out like crazy. Just trying to get through this. Holy shit. Ah, damn it. I was going too fast, or I... Yeah, I was going too fast. Okay, well, we gotta do that again. You are dead. Oh! Oh! Oh, the probe launcher makes noise. Well, that's amusing. But yeah, I, I didn't realize the probe launcher made a lot of noise, actually. Wait, speed doesn't actually matter, it's the probe. So, probe and thrusters set it off. So did I forget that the launcher spooks the fish? I actually just thought I I just thought they were well yeah motion wouldn't make any goddamn sense. Well, I'll try that again. Yeah, I don't like those fish that much, but yeah, I can straight up just mark it on the vessel, which, or. I can straight up just mark the goddamn vessel on my map, and as long as I pick the right one, wow, that saves it. That saves us an, an insane amount of time. Okay, I really, I don't need to stress out anymore. I do need to pee, though, which is a bit of an issue. Like, one unfortunate uh, side effect of getting eaten by fish is I usually need to kind of pee afterwards. I guess we could just go go to the bathroom and then come back. That might not be a bad idea. Sure, let's do that. Well, well, we wait for the sand to disappear. I must pee. Hopefully, I don't. Hopefully, I don't get flung to the other planet. I think I'm in a good spot. <laughs> 